Hi, how's it going? Charles Botenston here. Today we're going to be talking about a book that essentially, I have, first of all, I haven't done a book review in a while. Book review in a while. I have five that I need to do. I've read five books in the last probably month, month and a half. And this is one of the best ones I've read all year. And the reason I'm doing this one first is because I, I want to have the most energy, the most passion behind it. So based on my YouTube videos, uh, YouTube said, hey, listen, look at this guy, Zan Perion. I think I'm saying his name right. I hope I'm saying his name right. And he talks about the way of men. And it's sort of like David Data's uh, The Way of the Superior Man. And he sort of models it off, but he takes it a step further. And it is absolutely brilliant. I cannot recommend this book enough. I think every man needs to read this. Uh, women, you can still watch the video, but it's, it, this is a, a book review essentially to men and how they're showing up in modern society and how they used to show up in society. Not modern society, but they used to show up in society, okay? So I did a book review called Sapiens on who humans used to be. Like, we're looking at humans like we're above the food chain. Like, yeah, we're above the food chain, but we used to be part of the food chain. We, we are still animals, okay? We think we're like this, this like separate entity that we're like sapiens or humans are like the, not animals, okay? Why, why when I do that or why do I have certain facial expressions, you feel it or you notice it or whatever? It's because we needed that to survive back in the day. And essentially the book is about men who you, they used to be and who they need to be today based on who they used to be back in the day, okay? So the way that we could break it down, since baby Jesus was born, year zero. Until now, I guess you can call it modern times. You know, we, we would have language, there was countries, there was uh, currency, there was writing. You know, most of the modern things, and obviously now in the last 100 years, we've taken off and now there's cell phones and da-da-da. But I'm talking about from the year zero to... 1.5 million years ago we were animals okay we have animal instinct we have a male and we have a female men 99 percent of them back in the day would go out and they would all they would do all day is create protect fight eat hunt we would do things that we needed to do to provide for our women our spouse or whatever you know until marriage came or you know which is all creation by the way there's no such thing as marriage back in the day it was like if my woman who had my baby survived through maybe a war then she's still my woman she's still my spouse or whatever words you want to use okay nowadays we call it marriage okay back in the day you'd have the woman who had my child who i need to protect both of them and provide for food okay so there's another book that i read about how women choose men and I'll, I'll do that another one. Uh, and that one is called uh, Beautiful People Have More Children, or I think something along those lines. All right, going back to Alabaster Girl. That's the name of it, the name of the book. Okay, so what Zamperion starts talking about in the book is, number one is men used to create. They used to hunt. They would have tools to hunt, tools to fight a war. They would build a house. They would go out and, f and fight and hunt and come back and need to fix something. All day they were creating, they're using their hands, they're using their minds, they were, they were getting uh, technologically better. They were spreading ideas, they were collaborating within their tribes. We don't create anymore. We don't create at all. We wake up, we have food there, we have water there. Back in the day we would have to go and we'd have to seek out the water, make sure the path was clear of predators and other tribes. We'd have to make sure that other animals didn't eat us. Okay, we don't create anymore. We wake up, our food's there, our water's there, we're in a bed, we're in safety. We then go on a, a device, an iPhone, and we text people from the comfort of our bed or of our home. And then we go out and we go to a job or we go to a school. There's no creation. That's why when people are in the arts, when people are producing music or singing or dancing, they feel alive because that's who we are on the inside. We're creation animals. How do you think we got the iPhone? How do you think we got something like this, this cord, which is wrapped up to a microphone, to the camera, or to the iPhone? Someone created this. This is what we are. We need to get back, number one, men, to creation. We need to create. We need to produce content. We need to get smarter. We need to advance. We need to get our life better, which then trails into the second point, which is, are men 
our fathers, our forefathers. I'm not talking about the country forefathers, you know, independence, which is a great example, but I'm talking about way before then. S men that were in the year, you know, 100,000 years ago, 200,000 years ago, they probably died. Someone along your lineage died. They had you, and then they went to battle, and they died. Or they had you, and then they starved to death. Or they got killed by a predator. There are real men in your lineage. And when you're afraid to not approach that pretty girl, when you're, not afraid, when you're afraid to start your own business, just think of your lineage. Just think about the amount of men, that the, all the sacrifices that they made. And I'm talking about, yes, World War II, which is very recent. You know, America going through its independence, civil war. Read about history and how many men died and how lucky you are to be here. I'm talking about 200,000 years ago when every person counted. Every, yes, every person counts now, but we had very little population, very homo, homo sapien population, homo erectus, I think they call it. You know, I'm not a scientist, but they died having you. They probably died at age 30, but they gave enough shelter and warmth and care to you and their woman, whoever had you. And you're sitting here and you're afraid of doing something? That is a disservice, not only to you, but to women, okay? And really that's what the book is about, is that it's a disservice to you, but it's also a disservice to women in general today. Okay, so your lineage is full of men, of warriors, of people that sacrifice so you can be here. Think about that. Which that actually dovetails right into the third area, which is you have to show up. You have to show up. And I'm not talking about show up at an event. I'm not talking about show up at school or a job. I'm talking about show up on who you are as a man. Do you like chess? Do you like yoga? Do you like hockey? Do you like reading? Do you like sports? Do you like MMA? Do you like backwards hats? Do you like wearing gray? Show up as that person. Don't change for someone else because they said to change. All right? And I'm not, so, I'm not saying be immoral, unethical, illegal. I'm saying be who you are. Show up. And Zan talks about multiple examples. One, one perfect example is that while he was writing this book, he was in Toronto and he was shelled up in his apartment for six months while he wrote the book. And he went down every single morning to the coffee shop to get coffee and his bagel or whatever, his breakfast. And there would always be one pretty girl every day that he would go up and just say, hey, listen, what are you doing on Thursday? She's like, uh, I don't know. Number one is men are not direct. And I'll be talking about it in the second one. But secondly, they don't throw invitations out into the world. And that's what he did. He showed up in front of the girl that's at the coffee shop and say, hey, how's it going? I'm Zan. You're pretty. I wanted to come and say hi. What are you doing Thursday? She would say, I don't know. Or I have plans or whatever. He said, say she said, I don't know. He would say, great, let's hang out. She goes, what are you going to do? He goes, come over and we'll hang out. Or you know what? This is what we'll do. We'll exchange contact, contact information. And ultimately, ultimately, she would say, okay, what plans do you have? And he goes, I don't know. But the thing is, number two, there's so many things in this. Number one is he was honest. He didn't have anything. He didn't try to impress her. He wasn't saying, I have these big, audacious, beautiful plans, or I'm going to go to drinks. You know, He first showed up, and he, he just showed up in her world, and he said, hi, how's it going? I'm Zan. Number two is he had the audacity to say the reason for coming over to say hi. I thought you were pretty. You look intriguing. You look interesting. You look like someone that I want to get to know. Then he threw out an invitation. Hey, let's hang out on Thursday. I have five and six. I have that vacant. Or be, af after seven, I'm available. And she goes, I don't, you know, what are we going to do? And he goes, I don't know. Honesty. This is what a relationship, this is what masculine feminine energy is about. You know, I, and I'll have a, a separate video about that. It, it's truly amazing. I've embodied this, and uh, the last six months, I can't tell you uh, the difference it's made. And, number, and, and for a slew of differences. 
Number one is when he does that, and when I did it, since reading the book, like when he does it and he, he approaches a girl or, or even a guy and he says, hey, listen, he goes, that's an awesome jacket. Where'd you get that? It's genuine. It's honest. Here's my reasoning. This is how I'm showing up. Authentic. You know? First off, the girl appreciates it. And second of all, second of all, she knows what he's about. Oh, okay. This is going to be a courtship. And then right then and there, there's no BS. You're either engaged and married and have a boyfriend, or you're single and you want to join me on Thursday for whatever I think of. And that's it. You're not going over and saying, hey, what time is it? What time is it? Uh, let's go out on a date. You're not, you're not, there's no tricking. Show up, which goes to number three or four or whatever I'm on, is that you have to throw out an invitation that you want to do, but it has to be an honest one. In other words, this guy literally said, hey, listen, I have no idea what I'm going to do on Thursday, but you should, we're going to exchange conf- uh, contact information and you should join me. You should join me. It's going to be fun. Whatever I think of, it's going to be fun. Girls, respect that. Guys, there's too much uh, uncertainty. There's too much. And, and, and fourth, fourth of all, fifth or whatever one I'm on, he talks about not only is he honest, but he's forthright. Hey, listen, I, like your aura is amazing. And he does this with older women. He has no interest. He does it with women that are married and he has no interest. He's just saying it. He's just saying it. And if it works, or it, not if it works, but if, it, if, if something happens, good, awesome, perfect. Let's, let's go hang out on Thursday. But I, or if not, or if the woman's married, he goes, you know what, that's fantastic. C- congratulations. Your, your aura, your, your, your vibrance is incredible. Men do not show up anymore. We, we try and manipulate. We're dating online. We don't approach anymore. We, we, don't, we see that pretty girl, but we don't do anything. But it's also the lifestyle that you want to lead in your job. You say what you want to say. That's the biggest thing. So number one is our lineage is full of warriors. Number two is we need to show up. We need to be honest. We need to be authentic and be straight up front. I think you're pretty. What, what's so hard about that? I want to get your contact information so we go out on Thursday. You know, how are we going to do this? Obviously, you joke around and everything else, but you show up. You throw out invites. And you know what? If it hits or if it doesn't hit, you're the same person, which is the last point. You're the same person. Don't be affected by the outcome, but you need to actually take action. All right? This needs to be mandatory. All right? This needs to be mandatory for men. Is Alabaster Girl by Zamperion. The link is below. Uh, Gives me like, I don't know, 30 cents or 40 cents if you buy it through that link. Sort supports the channel so I can maybe get, make this a little bit better. But, uh, you know, I look around and, and this is just me just ranting for the last two minutes is I look around and I feel like men have settled. You know, and women are the, they're the, um, they're the, they're the ones that lost. They're the ones that are losing out. Which actually brings up another point is that don't have any ill will towards women. They don't know what you're about. You, if there's any ill will, you didn't show up properly. In other words, you didn't, you, the invite or the approach or the way you said things, what, there, was, there was a disconnect. It wasn't congruent on how you actually invited her to go out or complimenting her or whatever. He goes, I compliment. It's authentic. It's not using it to get myself into the conversation. I'm not using it to get her number. I'm not using her to bed her, to date her, or to meet her parents or get engaged. He's not using it, all right? Um, And just to go back on the riff is that men are not showing up. You know, I I look around and listen, I'm I'm at fault as well. You know, I'm getting way better. I'm getting way more honest. I'm getting way more authentic. Time is not on our side and there's no point in going and regretting anything. And the last thing is, men before us were men. They created, and and I'm not talking about they created like they had children. I'm talking about they created industries, countries, weapons, you know, weapons so that you're here. You know, I know people aren't violent and they're PC and whatever, but we needed to survive back in the day. And those weapons also fed us, you know, and there's plenty of food on the plains of Africa when we were roaming, all right? So... Check out the book, you know, 
it, it's mandatory. It really should be mandatory for all men. And uh, women would thank this guy, Zan, for actually um, producing the book. So anyway, the link is below. All my social media is below. Subscribe to the video. I'm going to be coming out with a slew of more um, other book reviews. And lastly, I would say Snapchat, Instagram, blah, 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 all those other things. But uh, give me ideas of what you want, you know, because I'm... Um, Obviously, yes, I have a direction of where I want to take the channel, but you guys help out a lot. So leave a comment below. Have an awesome day. Men, show up as men. Stay authentic. Stay honest. Throw out an invite. And whatever happens, happens. You're still going to survive. It's still going to be fine. All right? Have an awesome day. Talk to you soon.